Hello my friends, welcome to Monday Craft Day. In my neighborhood, it is pouring rain right now. So I thought we would do a craft about weather. So we're gonna make a weather wheel. So while we are home, we can keep track of the weather every day. So this is a craft that I have done in story hour before. And this is a template that I had printed. So it already had the types of weather and the pictures on it. But I thought that we can make this on our own and we can draw our own pictures of weather. You can do this with a paper plate because you already have the round shape. Um, but I figured I would show you how to do it without a paper plate in case you don't have paper plates at home. So um, all you need is paper. I'm going to use colored construction paper. If you happen to have a thicker paper like a cardstock, that would be really great too. So what you'll need today is paper, scissors, something to draw and color with. I'm going to use crayons today. A pencil and my ruler is somewhere from when I used it with my friends before. If you don't have a ruler, something that just has a straight edge. Grabbing it from under my table here. Sorry my friends, I'm all zoomed in. Here is my ruler. And if you would like, you can freehand a circle, but you can also find something round to trace to make your wheel shape. Also, if you don't have a brass fastener, um, I'm also gonna try this with a twist tie from a type of uh, bread bag or, or any type of product that you might have a twist tie on. We're gonna use that instead of a fastener. So, we'll need one color for our wheel and a different color or different colors for our arrows. So I'm gonna trace my basket to make my round wheel shape. And I'm gonna cut my circle. So, my circle is a little bit big, but that'll give me plenty of space to draw my weather pictures. Okay. All right, here is my circle. Got a little lumpy here. So the next thing is we're going to have to trace some lines to make our fractions for different kinds of weather. So on this one, there is stormy weather rainy weather, cloudy weather, sunny weather, snowy weather, and windy weather. The reason that there's more than one arrow is because weather can be more than one thing at a time, right? It can be cloudy and rainy, or it can be windy and snowy. So we can make a couple extra arrows today too. So what I'm gonna do, so we'll need six slices. If you think of any more types of weather, you can make even more slices. So to make six slices, we're going to make a straight line across our circle. Like this. And if we want to make sixths instead of eighths, I mean, this can be a little rough handed or you can measure it exactly. I'm gonna have a couple slices that are on the bigger side. <laughs> so there are my six slices, okay? And I'm gonna use the tip of my pencil to poke a hole through the center here. I got a little hole that we're gonna um, connect our arrows with when we are ready to use our twist tie. And now I'm gonna use my red paper to draw some arrows. Um, I am gonna do this free-handed 
um, if any friends would like help from their grown-ups or they would like to draw their own arrows. I'm going to make three arrows, I think, in case the weather is three things at once. So to make this easier on myself, I'm going to draw one arrow, but when I fold my paper, I can actually cut a smaller piece of paper off of this. So I have one arrow. So if I fold my paper like this, I only have to cut once to get my three arrows. One, two, oops, and three. So I'm also going to make a little hole. Got to kind of do this carefully. Um, a little hole in each arrow as well. So they have a space for the twist tie or the fastener to go through. Being very gentle because I don't want to rip the whole bottom of my arrow off. Okay, so I'm going to use the twist tie and put it through one arrow, put it through the second arrow, and put it through a third arrow. Like this. Okay, so I'm gonna hold on to this piece. And I'm gonna draw all my weather pictures. So I'm gonna take a few minutes to do this. And I'll be right back. Okay, my friends, I am back. So I'm all done drawing the pictures for my wheel. And I'm going to take my arrows that are all connected. And, you know, I have a twist at the top here. So the arrows don't move or slide up off of there. And I'm going to take my twist tie, put it through the middle of my paper, and bend the back of the twist tie like you would with a fastener. And then I can move my arrows around. So right now I would say it's windy and rainy. So if I don't have a third arrow that I'm going to use, I can tuck one underneath the other since they're all the same. So those are my two weather choices for today. So I hope that you enjoyed this weather wheel and that you'll be able to look at it and use it every day when you wake up. Bye my friends.